Hi, this is Mike Trujillo with Cakewalk, and in this edition of Get Started, we're going to be creating a custom plugin layout using Sonar's Plugin Manager. When you are inserting an effect into your effects bin, is this what you see? A full list with no organization? Or a neatly organized list? If you're seeing the former, then this video is for you. An organized list of plugins allows you to more easily find the effect or sound you're looking for without disrupting your creative flow. Sonar's Plugin Manager can be accessed several different ways, including right-clicking in the effects bin in a track, in a bus, also in the console view, or by going to the Tools menu and selecting it from the Tools. In the left-hand column of the Plugin Manager, you will see the Plugin Categories. These represent the different format types of effects and instruments installed on your system. You can create your custom plugin layout using both DirectX and VST audio effects and instruments. Here we'll see the VST audio effects, the DirectX instruments, VST instruments, MIDI effects, DirectX media objects, and control surfaces plugins. To start building our custom plugin menu layout, let's select New Folder and give it a name. Let's call this one Dynamics. Now that we've named our folder, we can begin to populate it with plugins listed in our registered plugins from DirectX or VST. Now I'm going to select a compressor from my registered plugins and hit the Add Plugin button to add that to the Dynamics folder that we've just created. You can also select multiple effects by clicking on one holding down control to select other effects and then selecting add plugin to add these to the folder. You can also select contiguous effects by selecting one of the entries, holding down shift and hitting the last entry. Now that we've selected some of our DirectX audio effects, let's go to the VST audio effects and I want to add the PX64 percussion strip to our dynamics folder. You can also create subfolders within a folder, such as mastering plugins within the Dynamics folder that we've created. So select New Subfolder, and you can type in the name. Now you can add plugins to the subfolder that you've created within the category of Dynamics. When a single plugin is selected, at the bottom of the window, you will see information including the file name and file path of the plugin, the vendor, and also other information about the particular plugin. If any of the plugins that you've installed are not showing up on the list, you can go to the VST configuration section of the plugin manager, select options, and check to see if the folder is listed in the folders in the VST scan path. If not, you can select add and choose the folder and add it to the list. You can also choose to rescan for failed plugins or to rescan for existing plugins when the scan VST plugins is selected. You can also exclude particular plugins from showing up in your list by selecting a plugin and selecting exclude plugin. Now this will be shown in the excluded list and won't show up in your enabled list. You can show the excluded list by selecting Show Excluded, or you can show the enabled plugins by selecting Show Enabled. When you've finished populating your custom plugin menu layout, you can save the layout by going into the Layout File section and giving it a name. Then select the Save function and save it into your folder. Another thing to remember is that anytime you install new plugins to your system, you will need to add these to your plugin menu layout and save the layout before they will be listed. Another feature of the plugin layout is that you can select different plugin layouts for your tracks and also for your buses. You can also create a custom menu layout for your virtual instruments using the same method as we did for the audio effects. By using Sonar's Plugin Manager, you can stay organized and work more efficiently. This has been Mike Trujillo for Cakewalk. Thanks for watching.
Yeah.